Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Healthy Love Clinic. This is Dr. Paul Nelson bringing to you a topic. Don't trust his words, even his actions. The topic tonight is don't trust his words, even his actions. Well, there's a lot of cheating going around this world. There's a lot of pain in relationship something which of course need to be avoided at all costs you enter into a relationship expecting that this person will make effort to make you happy you enter into a relationship because you expect that this person will not hurt you 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 are you are putting your hand your your your, your heart in a safe hands but we have the evidence that a lot of relationships are in pain. A lot of people are struggling in the relationship. They're no longer happy. And some of them, they find happiness through cheating. That should not be the case. But why? Well, nowadays, because uh, someone you enter a, into a relationship with could have had two partners before you, could have two boyfriends, three girlfriends before you, and you know, whatever has gone behind him, pain has been part of the breaking of those relationships. And therefore, if you are in a relationship and you have been hurt two or twice, uh, twice or three times, uh, you need to be cautious when you enter into a new relationship. And therefore, it doesn't matter how beautiful you are, how rich you are, how loving you are, don't trust anybody unless he proves she proves she proves to be worthy of your trust someone said they are not as honest as they claim to be a lot of people are like that they are not as honest as they claim to be and therefore you need to be very careful if someone tells you i love you you need supporting evidence that he means what he says she means what she says short of that you are placing yourself in a very dangerous position. Why? Someone who does not have the consistency of demonstrating that he loves you, she loves you, she cares about you, he cares about you, this person must be looked upon with suspicion. Uh, uh, but don't accept when somebody tells, oh, you're so insecure. No, don't accept that. There's enough evidence that a lot of men, a lot of women cannot be trusted nowadays. There's enough evidence. And therefore, if someone is acting insecure, please try to understand there's some uh, ample reasons for this person to act the way he acts. What he needs is a proof, a, demonst a demonstration of trust, trustworthiness. If you, if, if, if you don't demonstrate trustworthiness, you are not worthy to be trusted. And therefore, Though sometimes it's hard really to tell someone what they are not, they don't want to hear. It's not easy for people to hear certain truth. And because it's hard, a lot of people are pretending that everything is okay when nothing is okay. Yes, it is tough to ask certain questions. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If somebody really loves you, he or she will be willing to answer your question directly without saying to you, please wait, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Because if he tells you, wait, I'll talk to you later, it means he's looking for lies. He's going to make up stories to make you believe what is not true. And therefore, you need to remember, as someone said, I don't trust your words. I don't trust your actions, but I can trust your patterns. I repeat this statement. It's a very, it's a very beautiful one. So I don't trust words. I don't trust actions. I trust patterns. What does it mean? There should be a pattern whereby someone is consistently, I repeat, there should be a consistency in acts of love in acts of service, in acts of demonstrating that this person, he cares. You know, a pattern is like, you know, this is my tie, my necktie, okay? You see, here is black, is followed by white. Black is followed by white. 
Black is followed by white. Black is followed by white. It's always there. So there should be consistency whereby you expect these things from this person. So this person should be predictable. If he gives you a promise, he'll go to keep it. And if he doesn't keep it, he'll give you uh, enough explanation why he failed to keep his promise. So in various areas in relationship, you need to look at this person very closely. Look at this person very closely to see if he demonstrates consistency in all areas, in his words, in his actions. So his words should match his actions as well. If they don't match, then be suspicious. Whether he calls you insecure or not, don't, don't, don't please don't back down. Don't back down. Whether he calls you insecure or not, that's he, it is his business. As long as you want peace within your heart, you want to experience joy within, within your heart about this, this, this person, he need to come clean. So there should, there, should, there should be a match between his words and his actions consistently. If he doesn't show consistency, please be cautious. Don't give all your heart to someone who is not consistent. For example, if he cannot handle tough questions, if he can't handle tough questions, he's a weak person. He's not good enough for you. <laughs> you see, he, he's, he's weak. He should be someone who is strong enough in his inner person. He should be strong enough in his inner person to answer questions, tough questions, without bending the truth. Sometimes you need to ask direct questions and expect direct answers. You should not allow anyone to play with your feelings. Don't allow anybody to toy with your feelings. Love yourself. Be strong. That I want love and I want love of this is standard. So you should have a standard. Not just, just because he says he loves you. You're not, you're not just because he loves you. There should be a standard to be followed. Without standard, you are lost, my boy. You are lost. Please, listen to me. You need love of great standard. Something you'll be proud of. Something when you tell when you tell someone I have a boyfriend, I've got a girlfriend, this is something you really deep down within you, you are proud. Because there's a consistency, this is something with which will last longer. When you ask direct questions, make sure this person does not become very defensive. You see, if you become defensive, it means he does want to tell the whole truth. So ask direct questions and expect direct answers. If they become defensive or they, 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 they try to, to, uh, to, uh, to change the topics, please stop it. Tell us, so if, if you want to change, change the topic, please tell us, I'm sorry, let's go back to this. So you need to be strong enough to take him back to the topic you started with. He should not change the subject. You should go forward with what? Another thing which you need to, 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 to remember, your partner should be super open. You know, transparency is one of the strong pillar of a good, strong relationship. If there's no transparency, that's not a good relationship. You suffer. You will suffer if there's no transparency. So he should be, she should be super open. If I want to check your phone, please let me ch check your phone. Let me see what is in there. Don't tell me, oh, it's private. It's private. No, 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 no. A lot of men, a lot of women are cheating through using their cell phones. So saying, well, this is this is private. This is no, 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 no. That's 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 foolishness. It's foolish. I don't because if, if you take all your clothes, I said I can just see everything about you. Why not your phone? If I can, if I if I can, I can I can leak your vagina. I can leak. I can suck your 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 your, your cock. Well, what's what's the point about your your phone? Huh? Well, why should you hide your phone if I can leak your vagina? I can suck your penis what's what's up what? we don't know no. please let's have quality love not just love let us let us have quality relationship not relationship if you're in a relationship this is the time to get out of relationship and get into a relationship please if you can subscribe it tells me that you're enjoying what i'm saying here subscribe there and uh, I'll be bringing here Swahili topics and English top topics. So expect an English uh, topic 
once in a, uh, uh, almost every day I'll be doing this because this is my work and I enjoy doing this. My God bless you and take care of your good self. Bye.